Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update to iOS 15 on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now I strongly recommend you watch the entire video so that everything runs smoothly and if you have any issues feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Let's get started. Now before we begin, there are a few things you need to have prepared to ensure that everything runs smoothly. First off, make sure your phone is connected to the internet. A fast, consistent wireless connection is best or you may run into a slow installation. Second, make sure you have some type of charger, whether it's a wireless charger like this or the standard lightning to USB cable like this. If your phone is not 50% charged or more, ensure that you have the phone plugged up to the charger this entire installation. Next, you wanna make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. So open up your settings, tap general and tap iPhone storage. You'll be able to see the amount of space you have on your iPhone and you can see on screen how large iOS 15 is. So now that you have everything prepared and set up, the next step is to back up your iPhone. I strongly recommend you do this, although iOS updates are pretty safe. If something goes wrong, the backup is is your only way to retrieve your files, photos, and important information. So assuming you have everything prepared, we can move on right now and tap on our settings application, tap general, and tap software update. Now it's going to search for the update and you'll see that iOS 15 popped up right here. If you haven't updated in the past, you might actually see a bar at the bottom. Now if you don't see iOS 15, this might mean that your iPhone doesn't support it. Not all iPhones support iOS 15, most newer ones do, but if you want the full list of which iPhones support iOS 15, there's a link in the description. You can see every iPhone and iPod Touch that works with iOS 15. If you see this screen, you can tap download and install. We'll enter in the passcode here if you have one. I'm gonna plug mine up here to the charger because I don't see that it's 50% or more. So it's up to the charger. We'll tap agree, tap agree again on the terms. And you'll see right here that it says update requested. Now during this time, I pulled up my iPhone 12 Pro as well. And you'll see that there's 29 minutes remaining there. The 12 mini has 51 minutes remaining. So depending on the phone or just the situation, you might have a longer wait period or a shorter wait period. But just make sure you don't turn off your phone or it doesn't die during the update. And as you can see right here, I've sped things up. We're now looking at just my iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro mini failed, but the download is complete on this phone. And I'll explain what happened to this phone at the end. It'll help you guys if you're having some issues. So at this point, you can just read through this to see what you're gonna get if you do install iOS 15. There's a lot of cool features built right into it. We're gonna tap install now. I also went ahead and plugged my phone to the charger because I did not have 50% battery on this phone. Now it's gonna to start to verify the update and it's gonna go through the installation process. Now during the installation process, you're gonna notice your iPhone turns on, off. You'll see some status bars underneath an Apple logo. The status bars may go slower or faster depending on your setup. You'll also notice that they don't completely fill up to the end before they restart and the status bar starts again. That's completely normal. The main thing is you just allow it to do its thing. Don't unplug it from the charger if you already have it plugged in. And honestly, just don't do anything with the phone while it's running this installation. So that's it. The installation is complete. We now have iOS 15. We'll pull up, put in your passcode, software update complete, and it'll give you a little bit of a rundown of a couple things here. So we'll just tap continue. You'll see a status bar at the top. I'm not going to share. It's almost like setting up your iPhone from scratch for the first time. I'm going to leave it on standard here. We'll swipe up and now we have iOS 15. Now I didn't lose any of my files, folders, videos or anything like that, but you do wanna have that backup just in case. We'll just open the settings here. We'll tap general, tap software update and you can see it checks for it and we've got iOS 15.0. It's now up to date. We can take advantage of all the cool new iOS 15 features. You can see maps a little bit different. Weather looks slightly different as well. And I'll be going over all of the cool features with iOS 15 in the near future. But as I showed you earlier, the iPhone uh, 12 mini here just struggled with that update. It could not put the update through. It failed in the middle. And so what it could be is that this phone actually has iOS 15 beta. So if you have beta software on your phone, you may have to remove the beta profile. I'm not going to show you here because it takes some time, but it's pretty easy to do that. And then you can run the update. I also have to log out of my iCloud account and log back in. And if you do get stuck at any point, you can always do a hard reset. There's a video on that also in the description. If you're looking to learn how to do that, if your phone kind of freezes up during the update, but that's why it's so important to back everything up 
so that if something goes wrong, you do have all your information stored somewhere else. All right, so that's how you install iOS 15 on your iPhone or iPod Touch. If this video was useful for you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. A whole bunch of iPhone 13 videos are coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you ran into any trouble, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.